one of his first paintings. About how old were you, Grandpa, do you think, when you painted this one? I imagine about 14 or 15. About 14 or 15. We called this one Super Duck. <laughs> well, Diane named it Super Duck. <laughs> you, you will be able to see the improvement over the years. When was the, about what age were you when you sold your first painting? Do you remember who you sold it to? First one I can remember is uh, Ms. Walter Maps. Uh -huh. And I think I was about 15. Oh, really? When she bought that? Mm -hmm. This picture here was nailed on the wall in the bedroom, so right above the bed was this big old duck. You can look up there. Now, where, where was that that you had that nailed on the wall? At? Uh, in the bedroom out the farm. Out to the farm, mm -hmm. uh huh. Yeah. At, in your room? Yeah. yeah. And when you when Mrs. Matz bought her picture, do you remember what you sold it for? Three and a half. Three and a half. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've come a long way then over the years. Well, let's take a look around at some of the other paintings that you've got up here. Lou Gibson. I've had to redo it and put a different frame on it. And he hasn't picked it up yet, but told me he would in a year or two. Here's a picture of Bear Lake in Colorado. This is the one Mike picked out that he thought that he might want one of these days. Uh -huh. And this is Crescent County scene, a couple of pheasants. This picture here was on the cover of Nebraska Farmer. A white tailed deer crossing the Valley. This is just a makeup deal, one that I imagined. The ducks look a little bit different there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that is the, the Tetons, the Grand Tetons. And this is another, another old one. This is I painted one I was still out of home yet. Probably painted about 1925. Platte River. This is a little mountain scene, a little Colorado road scene. This is the Grand Tetons. And this is the Colorado winter elk scene. And this is a river, a river winter scene. This is Mount Hayden in Colorado. When the snow came before the aspen leaves were off. That's another old one that I robbed the frame off of. I've never seen that one before you. There's one of the Sierra Nevada Mountains. There's a, one that is quite old, made of Buffalo Creek one time. It would cover off of an old National Sportsman magazine from about 1913 or 14, somewhere along in there. And these are from old Western orange calendars of about the same date. They're all copies. They're not for sale because of them being copyrighted in the first place. Have him stand over there by those and we'll ask him some questions for you. Well, I'm taping them. Okay. Those three are on there at the top. Now, Grandpa, you said that you've kept track over the last, what, about seven, eight years? It's about the last 17 years. Oh, about the last oh. 17 years. Okay, how many have you sold in that time? Over 800. Painted over like 800 in that time. Now you're selling, what's like your average price on one of these that you're selling now? Like just oh, price a couple of them. Probably 350. 350 average. is the average. Uh, yeah. I've never got over 500. I've got 500 for several. Big ones, yeah. And, uh, so it's probably average three and a quarter to three fifty. Uh -huh. Okay, why don't you tell them what some of these are that you've lived in for a while. And a call right the scene, there's some prairie chickens. Here's one here of the, the T 
ketones. Can you get that? Yep. That's Glacier National Park. These others over here are just some fall scenes. Yellowstone Falls, Maroon Bells to the right of it, Colorado Scene, and I like that one. River. That's one off of an old old calendar. That's just your latest one that you oh, finished. Yeah, that one that that's I pretty. Like. Uh -huh, that's pretty. And this is Rune Bells in Colorado. Uh -huh. And the Aspens. Uh -huh. Well, that's all right, Grandma and Grandpa Pete's house.